afternoon. I guess it's a great beginning. Uh, thanks for coming to So What Can I Do with the Jar of <laughs> Anyway um, Faculty Discussion Panel. Uh, my name is Mark Rhodes. I'm the Secretary of GTU, and I'll be moderating the event today. But we're going to start off, as long as we talk is ready, um, yep. with a presentation about GTU. He is our president. Mm -hmm. I'll turn it over to him. I am Rupak, I'm the president of GTU for St. Cloud. As you all know, G GTU is an honor society in geography. We do a lot of um, fun stuff in geography here. Uh, we do a lot of campaigns and outreach in the schools and communities. Um, GTU started here with um, Dr. Whitson started uh, Rupak, which here right now. 69, 69 years. Before you were born. Before <laughs> <laughs> well, I was born. <laughs> <laughs> so it was started in 1969, and uh, we've been through some crops and crests, and I think we've been a uh, big active chapter right now since last year. Uh, thanks to all our members and officers, and big thanks to Jessica, who was president last year, for our help. And um, what else do I have? Um, yeah, t-shirts. Yeah. Oh yeah, the t-shirt <laughs> with you today, uh, you can submit it either for me or a gallon for Kelsey. Uh, the prices and the uh, post right in the back if you want to see that. And then also if you're not a member yet, the members of you is this Friday, uh, the 25th. Um, let's see, besides that, I think that's it. Uh, we're in the market. Just a couple of the events we've had. We went hiking in Geocaching, Cory Park. Um, and we went to the dinner Asian house. Um, we did you get our spring rolls. Um, I, I did. Jerry, <laughs> <laughs> I get the spring rolls. Jerry's <laughs> better. Um, and we're creating an annual event out of the Apostle Islands uh, camping trip. Um, there'll be more information about it. But yeah, you can talk to. I didn't actually go on it, but talk to many of the members. They have a lot of good things to say about it. Um, first thing. I'd like to have Kelsey stand up. She's the one that has organized and actually come up with this entire event. So, and um, without further ado, I'd like um, the professors to introduce themselves. Um, we we want to know, well, besides your name, we'd like to know where you study, um, where you got your um, at least master's and doctorate, um, maybe your undergrad what your emphasis is in, and what your role at St. Cloud State is. So, I'm going to start um, Dr. Richardson, you want to be All right, uh, Ben Richardson is my name, of course. Uh, I grew up in uh, Waukesha, Wisconsin, right outside of Milwaukee, and I went to grade school, uh, junior high, high school, and college in the radius of half a mile. Uh, so when I graduated from Carroll College uh, with a uh, BS in Geography, I think way back when, 70, uh, I decided it was time to uh, sort of broaden my scope a bit. So uh, I got a uh, graduate assistantship at uh, Western Oregon University and uh, got a Master's of Arts in Teaching uh, out there. I uh, then came back after that and uh, got my doctorate at uh, Michigan State University in geography. And uh, taught for two years at uh, James Madison University in uh, Harrisburg, uh, Virginia. And uh, in 1978, I, I came back here to uh, St. Cloud State. That's it. Your specialty? Oh! <laughs> specialty uh, areas have uh, traditionally been in the uh, techniques uh, area. When I first started here, there was no, in fact, no one was even talking about the geographic information systems at the time. It was, uh, and I pretty much started most of the courses, techniques courses here, in cartography, as we used to call it, and air photo interpretation. And I taught the first GIS class here in 1988, uh, sort of as an experimental seminar and kind of uh, took off from there. I also teach soils. I'm Gareth John. Uh, I've been here for five, almost six years, and um, I did my undergraduate 
at the University of Wales, Swansea, back in the early 90s. And uh, I got hooked on cultural geography there. And um, I was also doing my degree not only in geography, but uh, American studies. And I did a year abroad to the United States. And uh, American cultural geography became my area. And uh, so I went on to, to go to graduate school at Penn State uh, for my master's, and then University of Kentucky for my, uh, for my PhD. I taught at Gustavus Adolphus College for a couple of years uh, before coming here in 2005. And my area is pretty much uh, a lot of different areas in human geography, um, particularly cultural and historical work. Um, I also teach political geography and um, teach the geography of wine, this is more, a more recent offering in the summers, and, um, but I think cultural and uh, political and historical is the main area of the branch of the different fields, it's, it's really interesting, it's just one of the great things about geography. And I also advise the Geography Honor Society and uh, love working with the students and uh, for, their, for their different interests and their energies, so it's, uh, it's, it's a great, great part to work with. Uh, my first degree is from Moscow State University in Russia, where I actually majored in biology with a specialization in plant ecology and plant science. Um, and uh, I came to the United States in 1993 because I wanted to pursue a career in environmental studies. Um, but geography always was on my mind because actually for my undergraduate I was debating geography or biology. And my mom convinced me that biology is best first because it's harder of the two. So if you graduate with a degree in biology, you can become a geographer later. But not the other way around, which exactly how it happened. Um, and uh, I studied in uh, the science at the University of Oregon in Eugene a couple of years, and then I stayed for a PhD in geography because by that time I realized that I really want to, first I want to teach in college, but also uh, significantly I learned a, new, a few new methods of environmental science which involve very long term climate change. And so my interest is actually biogeography and uh, evolution of grasslands. Uh, which is maybe very exotic, uh, but uh, basically I'm interested in ice ages and how climate changes so dramatically in the past, and of course what may happen in the future as we sort of know. Uh, but specifically how climate influences vegetation and uh, by extension how it influences humans because we influence climate and climate influences us. Um, at St. Cloud State, uh, I've been here for 11 years. I teach uh, interregional geography class. I teach biogeography and I teach some other specialization classes, mostly with conservation of resources in mind. Uh, I also teach geography of Russia and uh, I just produced a textbook class in Poland, which is the team also will be offering that class again next fall. And hopefully, we'll go on a field tour of Russia in 2012 in the summer again. And um, additionally, to all of that, I also coordinate the great programs in some of your students. I'm Lou Wixon. I was born in Flint, Michigan and um, received my bachelor's degree from the University of Michigan, Ann Arbor, and met a prof very early on in my life, freshman semester, first year. Um, ben Moulton was his name. Ben's dad knew him. And um, he became a true mentor of mine. And I became his assistant as a freshman student. And um, through traveling I did with him, I just really came to appreciate the role of geography, but all I wanted was a bachelor's degree. I did not care for anything beyond that. And um, he eventually chaired the department at Indiana State, and he asked me if I would come down there and get into the graduate program. And I told him I didn't have any money. And he said, don't worry. He said, we'll get you funding. And I said, well, there's always something attached to that. I said, I'm not going to have to teach, am I? <laughs> He said, no, I promise you, you won't have to teach us. I'll just be your assistant like the old days. And he said, that's fine. So I went down there, and he had signed me up for five labs to teach. <laughs> and that's how I got started in it. And then, after I completed my master's at Indiana State, uh, he told me he had heard about a job opening in central Minnesota. He spoke about this university very highly said, why don't I apply for it? So that's how I got out here. I plan to stay a year or two. I have a hard time making decisions, and I'm still here. Um, I figured out a while ago, I think I've taught 10 or 11 courses in this department, and the, 
present courses I teach, I develop them all with one exception. So the 390, 432, well, the field course and senior capstone writing course and Europe and physical, <laughs> a lot. Basically do physical geography. But to be totally honest with you, what's recently surfacing is more of an interest in cultural or human geography. Um, my work as an undergraduate was mainly in geology. And then I put the human component to it and into geography. And now I'm kind of gone with personal interest in terms of migration and that. Beyond just the physical. So, Eric and I were talking, I guess that's not terribly uncommon for people that take this route. The, the wise ones of us do, right? Big names, Yeah, they've been so. I'm glad to be here, but we don't want to take all this time up just to talk about ourselves. So. Well, I know just about everybody here is good, bad, or otherwise a bad class. Just about all of you. So, I'm David Wall. Uh, my undergraduate degree is a Bachelor of Science degree in Geography from Kansas, and this is what my diploma says, Kansas State University of Agriculture and Applied Sciences. It's a uh, land grant college in Manhattan, Kansas. I then did my graduate work, master's and PhD at the University of Iowa. I got a one, I had a couple of one-year jobs. My first job, my first teaching job was I was replacing somebody at the University of New Mexico in Albuquerque. Uh, then I got a one-year job at the University of Central Arkansas in Conway, Arkansas. Uh, and then I got a little bit more longer-term job in uh, the Commonwealth of Virginia, Newport News, Virginia, in the school. It sounds like it's a private school, but in Virginia they name their schools. They don't name them after towns and places like that. They name them after dead white men. Mm -hmm. yes, James, James Madison. James Madison. <laughs> yeah. uh, I was at Christopher Newport University. Uh, when I came here to uh, interview for the job here, spring of 1998, uh, Ben picked me up uh, at the Super 8, uh, which is out um, off of Division by Crossroads Mall, uh, what is now the uh, Riverview Village, uh, the Barnes & Noble, the Granite City Group, but that was a vacant lot. There was nothing there. Uh, ben drove me down Division Street to campus. I have no recollection of ever seeing the Mississippi River <laughs> while on campus. Um, I was taken back to the Super 8 at night. I got up in the morning. I opened the window. I looked out over that vacant lot, my experience of Division Street, and I said, this is the ugliest place I have ever been. I hope they don't offer me a job. <laughs> and uh, here I am. Um, I, I, so I, I know many of you uh, either through economic geography or urban planning or the geography of Latin America and uh, I have taught the world regional course. I'm back this semester teaching a course that most of you don't take or wouldn't need to take because it's for uh, social studies teachers in 253. I've taught the uh, 111 class uh, and I've taught a uh, course, a uh, graduate course in uh, All right, um, Dr. Torreson will be joining us in a couple minutes. Get class until 12:15.